Joining me now is Jim Tobin. He is the CEO of the National Association of Home Builders. All right, Jim, is this going to scare potential buyers away? Um, yeah, I don't like the idea of having to sign an agreement before I can even look at a house that's being uh, open house. I don't like that. What do you say? Well, I think Kelly's absolutely right. I think it's going to take some time for the market to absorb these changes. But transparency in a process, especially the biggest process uh, that any buyer is going to undertake in their uh, their lives, is 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 a good thing. Uh, I, but I don't think it necessarily scares people away. At the end of the day, I think Kelly's also right. Representation, especially the, for those first time, first generation home buyers, is going to continue to be important. It is going to take some time for us to absorb those changes, though. I would imagine that commissions to retailers, uh, sorry, uh, realtors, will go down. Because if I've got to negotiate the agreement in advance of seeing anything, I'm going to want some kind of discount on the commission. I think I think there is that certain possibility, especially from the from the seller side. Uh, they're going to ask themselves, how much am I paying to the buyer side? And of course, the buyer they 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 can use that expertise uh, at the uh, during during you know, showing homes and things like that. Uh, but the real question is, are, are the buyers willing to negotiate with realtors and, and, and get, maybe get into a fee for service rather than a standard percentage? Uh, again, we have to see how this is going to shake out. OK, we're getting closer to um, at the moment, I think the mortgage rate, 30 year fixed rate mortgage is what, but just under six and a half percent. But it's still not low enough to jumpstart the housing market. How low do mortgage rates have to go to get buyers off the sidelines? Six and a half percent now. Do we have to go down to five, four and a half, four percent? It's going to take a long time, isn't it? It is. I don't think I think the days of four and a half or even four are long gone, Stuart. I, we're hopeful by the time we, we the clock ticks into 2026 that we're, we're below six percent, hovering right around five and a half percent. We think that's the new normal. So six and a half. I don't think it's enough. Uh, six is probably getting better. But the real issue for the home, home buyers is going to be durably lower rates. You know, everybody's trying to time the market. They were 7% a month ago. They're now 6.5%. Hey, if I wait another couple months, maybe they'll be at 6%. I think we have got to get in a space where they are not whipsawing back and forth between highs and lows and buyers feel comfortable coming into the market. We also have to make sure we have supply out there, that the home builders are lowering their costs. Home prices are still very high. That has to get get lower as existing homes come in with lower rates that will help the marketplace and then when i talk to our home builders across the country buyers just don't feel quite comfortable about the, about the economy yes there's good signs out there inflation is reducing maybe there's a fed rate coming soon but they're just not that comfortable and i think finally one thing that nobody's really talking about november elections you know the last six weeks of american politics it felt like a decade and i think there's a lot of home buyers that are going to say hey wait a minute let me see how November shakes out, because I really want to know what the next administration is going to do, whether it's a Harris or Trump administration, to make the economy better and make me feel more secure about making that large home purchase. Got it. Jim Tobin, National Association of Home Builders. Thanks for joining us, Jim. We'll see you again later. Thanks, Thanks a lot. You.